Hey everybody. So today is the last day of the five day training series. Um, and so today we're going to talk all about the um, my, si my strategies for um, converting on sales calls. So um, like a little bit of my sales process and things like that. So of course I'm going to go ahead and get this shared inside of my group. And then if you haven't, make sure you check out the last four trainings. The first one was all about um, services. The second one was my secret, secret strategy to um, pricing your ser services. Um, the third day was all about clients, figuring out your ideal client, attracting them, finding them. Um, and yesterday was all about pitching, um, exactly um, how I put together my pitches to make sure I get the most attention, I grab the person's attention. Um, Especially when there are like a sea of comments um, in Facebook groups when a lot of people have um, reached out to that person. So, and today it's like, okay, once you get the call book, you've pitched them. Once you get the call book, what exactly do you do from that point? Um, so, let me go ahead and get this inside of the group. And then we'll go ahead and jump in and get start started. And then I have a special announcement at the end, so make sure you stay to the end. Um, and of course, bring your questions if you have any kind of questions since we are talking about the sales process. So, um, when before I even jump on the call with um, my potential clients, I do a little research about them, so I can do a little cyber stalking. So, of course, I look at their um, social media po uh, pages, so I, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere else that they're posting. Um, and then, of course, I check out their website if they have that. Um, and see, figure out a little bit about them, um, what kind of business they have, what are their goals, missions, vision, anything like that. Um, just to see if we're aligned with each other. And so I got I gather a little research for before the call, and then of course I go into the call, and then we want to figure out what are they exactly struggling with. How can I help them? How can my services match up um, and fit their needs as far as getting them from this point, point A, and then getting them to C? So me being in the middle will be big. Um, and so I figure out what they're struggling with, what do they need help with, and then I also go in and talk about a little bit of how I can help. Um, but I think a lot, I don't jump into the call talking about myself. I kind of let them vent. I know they've been pretty overwhelmed. They know, um, they kind of want to talk to somebody who kind of gets this and can understand their process and see if they can help them get, um, you know, implement the steps to get them where they want to go. So number one, I always uh, start the call off. Uh, thanking them for that time and then also um, asking them um, a little bit about their business, their self, and then I go into um, their struggles. So that's the first part of the call. And then I also go into, after that, I go into my spill as far as my services, what I can do, what results I've gotten for myself, what results have I gotten for my past clients, um, and how it's similar or um, those results um, are like something that they can look forward to and something I can do for them too. So you always, um, and even if you don't have, I know some, a lot of my uh, um, members on my Facebook group and on my page are probably beginners and they don't have any kind of um, background in it and they, they don't have any kind of testimonials, clients that they're working with if this is their first client. So number one thing is to always just remember um, if you are open and willing to learn that these clients will be open to the same. So if you don't have any kind of like um, results that you can relate to, just uh, let them know you're willing to learn. You'll figure it out. Um, and then a lot of clients are super open to that. As long as you have open communication and you are willing to learn and actually let them know and say, hey, I am kind of struggling with this. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Um, can I have another day or we'll, we'll push it back another day or whatever like that. Like you have to be open with your clients and that's what they really want. So number one is always go in and do some research before the call let it figure out a little bit about them. Number two is when you jump on the call, always have the floor open to them to let you know what they're struggling with, their pain points, um, what are their goals. And then number three is to um, relate that to any kind of results that you have gotten for your clients or for yourself or even if it's in past corporate, you have experience in it, um, or relate it to some kind, of, um, some kind of results of success that you've had in your past that they can look forward to too. And if you're not, um, if you don't, if this is your first client and you don't have any kind of, um, make sure my kid getting the house good. Um, if you don't have any kind of results uh, to talk about, then always talk about yourself. But also um, let them know you're open, willing, you're um, willing to learn. And if you give them a discount or you want to do it for free, whatever that looks like, um, 
have that option available to them too and don't think that will scare them away i think a lot of people think oh if i tell them i don't have any experience this is my first client or um different things like that this is going to scare them away no they understand that everybody starts from their first client like we don't jump in the game and already have our signed three clients like we have to start building up that foundation somewhere so those are my three tips as always number one um you let the garage now? Okay. So number one is definitely do your research before the call. Number two is to give them the floor on the call. Let them go ahead and vent, tell you about their struggles. And number three is always relate their um, goals, their desires to some type of success that you've gotten for yourself or others. Or or three or four, whatever you want to call it, is if you don't have any kind of background or if this is your first time jumping in, let them know you're open and willing to learn. So those are kind of my like key strategies on a sales call. Um, and then number three, when you relate it to a success that you have gotten for yourself or for somebody else and it's super similar to what they want, that is like my number one way of like converting people, like converting potential clients into paid clients. So I really like that strategy. So drop any kind of questions if you have those. Um, but I want to let you guys know that today is the last day to jump into the VA University, the um, doors close tonight at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I am going to have a special offer for everybody inside of the um, the VA University. So make sure you guys are watching your email because I think I am going to release that um, tomorrow. So I'm going to send out an email to everybody that's in the VA University. And I know that once the doors close and I send out this special offer and it is revealed over the weekend on Monday, whenever it gets revealed to that my entire audience, that people are, like, are going to be like, dang, I should have joined. I should have jumped into it. So don't be one of those people. Jump in. I'm telling you all the content, the support, the strategies, resources, tools, everything is in the VA University for you to go ahead and blow up your business. And then the special offer for, offer for everybody that's in the VA University is going to blow a lot of people's minds. So I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to get started with these girls that are already in. Um, if you guys have any kind of questions um, or if you want to know anything about the VA University, the link is up top or below wherever it is. Um, of course, you can message me, email me um, with any kind of personal questions that you have. Um, but make sure you get in before 11.59 p.m. tonight. The doors are closing. I do not know when the VA University is re relaunching or opening back up, but I do know that the prices will go up. I just had a call with uh, my coach this morning and she was like, yep. We, that's our number one goal is to raise those prices. So the prices are going up. Um, so all that say, go ahead and jump in if you really are serious about your business and you want to kind of blow it up and you're like, enough is enough. I need to just go straight all in. Then go ahead and do that. Um, but I will see you guys probably next week. I don't know. I'm planning. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, announce the special offer but i gotta make sure that i get emails out to everybody inside of the va university get everybody's consent that are you know who's going to take on the special offer or whatever um and then i will release it to my whole audience because it's kind of super exciting um but yeah that's all i have for you now um if you have any kind of comments of course leave them below but thank you guys so much for your love and support um i love you guys and i will see you next time bye